we're gonna have to get our flash drive and get on our computer and download the latest PlayStation 4 firmware software onto this flash drive so that we can restore it on the PS4. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do first is open up your favorite web browser and go to the website you see here on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down to this website down in the description below. So you can just go ahead and click on that there and it'll take you to this page. And this page is gonna tell you the steps you're gonna need to prepare your flash drive so that you can load the latest firmware to your PlayStation 4 on the new drive that you just installed. So looking through the steps here, you're gonna need a USB flash drive with at least one gigabyte of free space. Next, you're gonna wanna insert the USB flash drive onto your computer and you're going to want to create a folder called PS4 right in the root of the drive so it needs to be capital so capital P capital S then the number 4 now you're going to go inside of that folder and create another folder called update and again that needs to be capital then you're going to proceed to download the update file once you've saved the file make sure it's named ps4 update.pup and it also should be capitalized okay so now let's go ahead and do that ourselves we're gonna go ahead and plug in our USB flash drive onto the, our computer. Okay, so once I inserted the flash drive, you should go to that drive letter. And for me, it's gonna be the D drive. So as you can see, I already have some files here. No worries. Just go ahead and create that PS4 folder. And remember, it needs to be capitalized. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and double click to go in that folder. Now you're gonna create a second folder called update. And it should be capitalized as well. Okay, so we're going to want to go into this update folder and this is where we're going to save our ps 4 updatepup file. So go ahead and go on this website and click here to download now. So as you can see, it's downloading the file from the PlayStation website. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is copy the file. You just download it over to your flash drive. So just right click on it and hit copy. So now you're going to want to go to your flash drive drive letter, then your PS4 folder and then inside of your update folder, you're going to go ahead and paste the file. Okay, now that the file is copied onto your flash drive, you're going to want to go ahead and eject your flash drive and then you're going to take it over to your PlayStation 4 and plug it into one of the front USB ports. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so now let's go to the next step which is plugging in your PlayStation 4 back and plug it into your monitor. You're going to take your USB flash drive that has the PlayStation 4 firmware software on it and you're going to plug it into one of the front USB ports on the PlayStation 4. Make sure that the PlayStation 4 is not on yet. Make sure everything's off. You're also going to need the micro USB cable that came with your controller. You're going to need to do this part with the controller plugged into the PS4 through the wire. So go ahead and take your controller, plug in the micro USB side to the controller back here. And then you're going to plug in the full size USB. Okay, so once you have your PlayStation 4 controller plugged in with the wire and the USB plugged in, Go ahead and power on your PlayStation 4. So now we see our PlayStation 4 booting up. So it's gonna give you this message that it cannot start the PS4. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna press the PS button on your PlayStation 4 controller. Okay, so now you should be in safe mode, as you can see here. So it's gonna ask you to connect a USB flash drive that contains version 5.50 or later of the PlayStation 4 firmware. So since we have our flash drive with the firmware in there, we're gonna go ahead and go to OK. In order to do that, you can't use the analog sticks. You're gonna have to use the arrow. So you're gonna wanna use the right arrow to go to the right and go ahead and hit X for OK. So you're gonna have to wait a few moments while it installs the firmware from the flash drive. So you can take a small break now while it does this. Okay, so it's gonna give you a warning here. It's saying that all the data on the drive will be erased. Do you wanna go ahead and continue? Since there's nothing on the drive, since it's brand new, we're gonna go ahead and go to yes and again you have to use these arrows here then click X and it's gonna say initializing and you won't want to turn off your PS4 at this point okay so it's gonna go through a few steps to load the firmware on the new drive okay so as you can see here it is installing the firmware on the new drive right now Okay, so once you get to this point, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get your wired controller and press the PlayStation button. 